the explorers of early America are still among us. Their influence is everywhere. But how much do we really know about these explorers? This is our question, so we took to the streets, circumnavigating the five boroughs of New York, traveling by land and sea, by subway and taxi cab, reckoning with savages and tourists in a noble and valiant effort to unearth the truth about early American history. First stop, Leif Erikson Park, Brooklyn, 10.15 a.m. Um, so, this is Leif Erikson Park? Yes. Do you know where this one? Uh, was it a Viking? Or, uh, yeah, Viking. Yeah, he was a Viking, yeah. yeah. From, from where? You know where he came from? Um, I'm thinking either Scotland or, am I right? <laughs> Scotland or Ireland? Leif Erikson was from Greenland. Next stop. Toyota Thon, Queens, 11.06 a.m. Do you have any idea where he came from? No. There's on on um, the Bell Parkway, there's a Leif Erikson oh, from. Leif Erikson from the Netherlands? Yes. The Netherlands. What did he do? Huh? What did he do? Why is he famous? Why is he famous? I believe he actually was the first explorer to come into Brooklyn. Yeah. No, he reached Newfoundland, more than 1,000 miles from Brooklyn. It's a Spanish uh, explorer. <laughs> Last stop, Ponce de Leon Bank, Manhattan, 12.45 p.m. Uh, he was looking for the uh, Fountain of Youth, yeah. and he found Borinquen, and he thought the Fountain of Youth was there, but I guess he died. Yeah. <laughs> he was after slaves and gold, not searching for a Fountain of Youth. Okay, times. Has to be before 1492, because it's Conquistador. I'm thinking around 1200 right. ish Try 1513. Part of America. Was it, um, what's that? Rock, um, Plymouth Rock in, uh, was it Pennsylvania? Ponce de Leon arrived in Florida, not Pennsylvania. Afraid you might be caught off guard next time you're accosted by explorers on the streets of New York? Learn the truth before it's too late. Read A Voyage Long and Strange by Tony Horwitz, available in paperback May 4th from Pippador. Ah!